In the previous lesson, we'll learn how to deploy our blog manually into Netlify. In this video, we'll try to make our workflow easier by deploying the generated public folder automatically whenever you do a modification and push it into the master branch of a repo on GitHub. By default, Gatsby is set up to use Git. We can find out that by a CD into the Git folder, which includes the history of all the modifications plus the git ignore file that contains the interacted files that git should ignore. So our blog is already set up to use git. Now we'll create a github repo. From github, we click on the plus sign, then add a new repository. Choose a name for the repo. For me, I will use the same, my blog. Make it public or private, doesn't matter. Then hit create a repository. Now let's just move to our code and from the terminal, we type git stairs to see if there is any modification that needs to be staged or committed. We have here a message, nothing to commit, working tree clean, which means that we have nothing to commit. From GitHub, we'll copy this line to push an existing repo to this GitHub repository. Then a git push origin master to push all the files, excluding the ignored ones into GitHub. Cool. If we move to GitHub again, and refresh the page, you will see that all the files are pushed successfully into this GitHub repo. We have now the blog set up to use Git locally and on a remote repo on GitHub. So let's move to Netlify to deploy this GitHub repo. Here we have the first manual deploy from the previous lesson. Let's now click on new slides from Git, choose GitHub. You see here a list of all the repos that I have on my account. You can limit the access of some specific repositories by configuring the Netlify app on GitHub. So at the bottom of this page, click on configure the Netlify app on GitHub, select your account. From the repository access option, you can check the second option, only select repositories, and select the ones you want to grant Netlify to use. For me, I will keep the all repository option checked. Close this pop-up, and let's just move to the top again, and search for the repo that you already create my blog, then select it. For the owner, we have nothing to change. Branch to deploy, keep the master. Otherwise, if you have any other branch that you need to deploy it, instead of master, you can change it. The build command is already exists in our package.json as Gatsby built, and the publish directory is the generated public folder that includes the static files. Hit deploy site to start the deployment. We'll wait until the production deploys is finished, and this label here indicates enqueued, which means that the deployment is not finished yet. Now, the stairway is changed to published, plus we have a link where we can access to the blog. Click on the link, and voila, the blog is working. Now, if I do any modification from the code, okay, let's just go to the article, and I will do a simple modification on the content. I'll go to the blog and this high fork, for example, index, I will change add some S here, so to change the title. Now I do a modification, if I just find on git stairs, you'll see that I have some modifications. I will add the modification by using git and commit all the changes. I'll do update an article. Now let's just push that into the GitHub or into the origin master. Means that after I push the changes into GitHub, it will be deployed. Okay, let's just check that from Netlify. Let's just refresh the page. I have a new deployment here, which means that it is built in. Let's, let's wait until this deploy is finished, then the modification will be visible from the blog. Good, we have published it here. Let's click on the link. I'll just refresh the blog again, and the content of the blog is updated successfully. And what we learned from this lesson, that you can do the deployment automatically instead of doing it manually, which makes you productive. So you don't have to drag the public folder anytime you are doing a modification into Netlify. Whoever wants to do any modification, you just need to commit the changes and push them into GitHub, then the blog will be updated.